Now, these are the contents of today's session. First of all, we are going to understand what is the geography of that particular region. A region in geography should check. Then after we are going to discuss what is the requirement of this particular project. Then after we are going to discuss about that which kinds of problems are there before the consideration of tunnel construction. Which kinds of hurdles to be considered before the project. Problems as well as hurdles that what we are going to understand. Then after we are going to discuss about the construction methodology. Then after we are going to discuss about the problem faced during the construction. Uh, it means we are going to discuss about the before construction, during construction, as well as we are going to discuss about the problem faced before considering this particular location. This is all the things we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss about the actual site conditions. And at the last, we are going to discuss about the features of a tunnel. I think each and every person is aware with that particular word about the features that about the length of a tunnel, how many vehicles can pass through that tunnel and that all the things what you what you have seen into the news that we will discuss at the end. That are the features of the tunnel. Let's start. First topic that is geography of this particular tunnel. Now into the map, you can see three different parts. First one that is Karakoram range. Second one, which is Great Himalayan Ranch. And the third one, which is Pir Panjal Ranch. These three are the main mountain range of the Himalayas. Himalayani under me thrown a lot of part defined career. Among them, first part is a Karakoram Ranch. Second part is a Great Himalayan Ranch. And the third part is a Pir Panjal Ranch. And majority of all the tunnels of the India, it means about this Himalayan sector, is under the Pir Panjal Ranch. This Atal Tunnel is also constructed into the Pir Panjal Ranch. Now let's discuss all the ranges into a detail. The first one, which is in Karakoram Ranch. Now where it is, uh, where it's initiated and where it's going to be finished. The Karakoram Ranch is a mountain range spanning the borders of China, India, and Pakistan, with the northwest extremity of the range extending to Afghanistan also, as well as to the Tajikistan also. And its highest 15 mountains are all based in Pakistan. So uh, the Karakoram range is mainly into the Pakistan. It is not into the India. Majority of all the parts are, is, are the part of a Pakistan's uh, nation. It begins in the Wakhan border or Wakhan corridor into the Afghanistan in the west and encompassed majority of Gilgit Baltistan. I think all you have heard that word about the Gilgit Baltistan extended up to the Ladakh. Now, this is a part of our India. And at the end, it is it meets to the Aksai chain. At present, it is controlled by China. So it is initiated from the Afghanistan, Tajikistan, it meets to the Pakistan, then after it meets to the Ladakh. And at the end, it means to the Aksai chain. So you can understand how long it is. It is the second highest mountain range in the world, part of the complex, including the Pamir Mountains, Hindu Kush, and the Himalayan Mountains. I think everyone has heard that word during our history. Uh, when Afghanis have attacked into the onto the India, they have crossed the particular border from the Hindu Kush mountain range. Everyone has heard hear about that particular word. Now the Karakuram has 18 summits among the 18 summits 15 mountains are into the pakistan and all 18 summits over 7500 meter with four of them exceeding 8000 meter now i think everyone is aware with that word that what is the peak of mount everest that is 8848 kilometer but the second is second one is the k2 which is situated into the Pakistan, which is having a height of 8,611 meter. Now, the Siachen glaciers, it is a part of this particular mountain range that is about the Karakoram range. Now, just try to think about that thing. The average height is around 7,500 meter. It's, it means that whole mountain range is covered with the snow. And among that mountain range, 76 kilometer is a part of Siachen Glacier. And you can understand, you can uh, think about that. It is all covered throughout the year with the snow and which is having a temperature always sub below like minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, etc. Let's understand the second Himalayan range. 
that is considered as a great Himalayan range. It is also considered as higher Himalayan range. It extends south eastward towards the northern Pakistan, northern India, and Nepal. And at the end, it will meet to the Sikkim state, Bhutan, and finally turning to the north eastward across the northern Arunachal state. This is the longest ever mountain range into the Himalayan range. So first one, that is the Karakoram range. Second one, which is a Great Himalayan range. And the third one, which is a Pir Panjal range. Among them, this Great Himalayan range is the longest ever range into the Himalayas. The range is having a total length of approximately 2,300 kilometers. And it has an average elevation, about 6,100 meters. In Karakoram range, it was 7,000, about 7,000 meters. In Great Himalayan range, it is little bit reduced and it is meet up to the 6,100 meters. Mount Everest, however, Mount Everest is a part of Great Himalayan range. It is not a part of Karakoram range. Uh, uh, you have heard about the word Nanga Parvat, Annapurna, Mount Everest, Kanchanjanga. This all are the part of Great Himalayan range. However, the average elevation of this particular mountain range is around 6,100 meters. Let's understand about the Pir Panjal range. This is the third and the last range of the Himalayan state. It is, uh, it is initiated with the disputed Kashmir region. And it is Sharwache that is from the disputed Kashmir region. And from Kishan Ganga through southwestern Jammu and Kashmir state, to the upper Bias River in the northern west Himachal Pradesh state. Now, this Himalayan, sorry, this Atal Tunnel is constructed into the Himalayan, in the Himachal state. And Himachal state is a part under the Pir Panjal range. Himachal Pradesh, Nindrana, Jitlapan mountain, this all are the part of Pir Panjal range. That's why I say that Atal Tunnel is constructed into the Pir Panjal range. Now, this is the average elevation that is around 4,000 meter. So you can understand in a Karakuram Ghat, in a Karakuram range, it is 7,000. In Great Himalayan range, it is 6,000. But in this Pir Panjal range, it is reduced up to 4,000 meters. This is an average elevation. So uh, as the, we are crossing the ranges, the elevation is also decreases. And you have elevation point decrease. Keep that thing in mind. We are understanding about the technical parameters also. In this particular session, and that's why I'm just creating a background. Mutamarit background create career about the geology as well as about the geography of that particular region. Now, it separates the Jammu Hills to the south from the valley of Kashmir, beyond which lie the Great Himalayas. So it is the separation part which separates both mountain range, a Great Himalayan range as well as the Pir Panjal range. The major passes through the range include the Pir Panjal or the Banihal Pass. I think if you have heard about the word Rotang Pass and all the things, this all are the part of Pir Panjal range. It is also considered as Young Himalayan range. It is also considered as Young Himalayan range. We are going to use this word in upcoming slides. But I got slides in the unused Karisho. So keep that thing in mind. Young Himalayan range, it is also known as a Pir Panjal Ranch. So this was the geography about these three particular ranges. Now let's understand about the geology of a particular area. Uh, up to now, up till we have understand, discussed about the geography of that particular region. Now we are going to understand about the geology of an area. Now here we are going to understand only about the Pir Panjal Ranch, not about all of these three. Avikhali uh, about the Pir Panjal Ranch, not about all these three ranges. The Himalayas are formed due to the convergence of Eurasian and Indian plate. A word direct journey, I think, Sambral Ocean. It, uh, the formation is due to the tectonic movement. The formation is due to the movement of these this two tectonic plates. And this was the reason behind the formation of uh, Himalayas. Now, as the Himalayas are young, it means right now I'm talking about only a Pir Panjal range. As the Himalayas are young and are still under building process, it means the development of Himalayas is not stopped yet. It is in the process. And at present, these are into the young age. 
the great himalayas are into the mid range and the karakoram range it is into the peak range but if you are talking about the pir panjals this all are into it's, this all are the part of a young himalayan range so the this are under the building process is having the high stress condition now keep focus on that word high stress condition it that we are going to use this word into the technical parameters during the technical understanding which results in natural hazards like earthquake and landslides so the himalayas are full of surprises due to its varying geology now do you think if there are higher chances of earthquakes as well as about the landslides do you think about to construct a tunnel over that particular region just try to think about it तो मैं एक्सपेक्ट कर सको खरा कि आउ कोई रीजन हो इन दैट रीजन दिस इज फिजिबल अबाउट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ चैनल ओवर दैट पर्टिकुलर रीजन व्हाट डू यू एक्सपेक्ट इज इट फिजिबल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ चैनल और एनी अदर स्ट्रक्चर इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर माउंटेन रेंज व्हिच लॉन्ग और व्हिच आर व्हिच इज डिजाइन फॉर मोर देन 100 इयर्स नो यू कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट अबाउट सच थिंग्स बट we have constructed atal tunnel in such geological area that's why we are considering it as an engineering marvelous we are not considering it as general constructions due to the tectonic activities and high stress the, the himalayan mountains are weak heterogeneous fractured highly weathered and deformable nature this all are the problems that what we are considering before the construction we are just understanding the geology part of that particular region so himalayas are not the safe for construction this are having the high stress it is having the weaker section it is having the heterogeneous nature it is having the fractured nature it is having the highly weathered and deformable nature and that is one of the reason why it is difficult to construct a tunnel over that particular region then this is all are another problems squeezing squeezing it is development of a stress swelling i think you all are aware with that word swelling and collapse swelling it means there will be change in the volumes uh, then after the collapse it means it will fall down a very common in such type of weak anisotropic metamorphic rock so uh, at that location there is a construction of a there is a part of a metamorphic rock like magnetite phyllite and schist this all are the type of rocks that is not need to be understood at present but you can think about that this all are the weakest type of rock into the himalayan range a three three type of rocks those all are the weakest type of rock which is which are having a chances of squeezing it means development of a stress there are the chances of the swelling about the volumetric change and there is there are the chances of collapse of that particular rock into the strata from the strata so tunneling in the young himalayan range or in the young himalayan mountains having challenges due to existing geological structures like faults faults and tectonic activities so this is the conclusion about the geology of that particular area ke a area ni andar young himalayan part ni andar tunneling karvo difficult cha however we have constructed a tunnel and this are the few reasons why it takes time shu ka maine time li do sha in alag alag reasons so the geological is it's very weaker section now let's understand the connectivity after the construction of the atal tunnel which two areas are going to be connect the tunnel was planned for ensuring an all weather road there are two types of roads are the first one those are the fair weather road and second one which are the all weather road fair weather road it means they are designed specifically for few seasons like if i am designing a road for winter and summer only if i am designing a road for summer and monsoon only so it runs for the limited period but in all weather situation it will run throughout the year and in this particular strata in this particular region it is highly covered with the snow and it is very difficult to maintain the condition of a road during the winter season aaj ek ek road che bada winter season na winter season in the problematic situation because badaj road winter with badaj road snow thi cover up thai jaye so this is very difficult to manage as a all weather road and tunneling is only the solution to construct an all weather road in this particular region that's why we have developed a tunnel over that region and it was the connection to the ladakh and it provides round the ear connectivity if any one of you have ever traveled toward the ladakh 
તો એ લોકોને ખ્યાલ હશે દેટ ઓનલી ટુ રોડ કનેક્ટિવિટી આર દેટ ટુ ધ લદાખ રિજન દેટ ઇઝ ફર્સ્ટ વન ઇઝ ફ્રોમ મનાલી ટુ લદાખ મનાલી ટુ લે એન્ડ સેકન્ડ વન વિચ ઇઝ ફ્રોમ શ્રીનગર ટુ લે so there are only two road connectivities are that up to the lake manali to leh and second one which is the srinagar to mana srinagar to leh now in a winter season both the connectivities are closed banne connectivity winter season in their band the because all the passes are connected with the snow all the passes are covered with the snow during the winter season as of now we all are aware with that word that there is a higher terrorism into the jammu and kashmir state now if we are considering or if we are developing the tunnels and all the thing over the first portion that is over the shrinagar to the lake connectivity there may be a higher chances of a terrorism or terrorist activity over that particular location that's why we have chosen the second parameter which is manali to lake and we have done all weather situation or all weather roads into that particular region etla mate a mind ma vichar ayo ke shu ka manali thi leine connect kariye rather than to connect to shrinagar to lake however uh, there are two different districts if you can see on the screen first one that is the lahul district and second one which is the spiti district that is the center line of the mountains it is divided two parts lahul valley and second one which is a spiti valley but on the uh, on the contrary it is considered as a lahul spiti valley but both the regions are different banne different regions che the construction of rohtang tunnel will provide all weather connectivity only to the lahul valley of the himachal pradesh up to kelang this is the name of a location that we will uh, uh, see after a few seconds now this was the stages of construction and this was the stages of this particular project the feasibility study was feasibility study was initiated during the year of 1990 geological report was submitted in the year 1994 design and specification report was submitted in the year 1996 final technical approval was in the year 2003 foundation stone laid by the pm was in the year 2010 and the stipulated date of completion it means ke je apne vichari hoy ke aa divse project puro thavo jaiye that was in the year 2015 but actually it was completed in the year 2020 so this is the stages of the project that it was initiated in the 1990 however it was completed in the year 2020 so it takes around 30 years from uh, beginning to the completion from the dream to the destination it takes around 30 years now why it has take the 30 years that all the things we will discuss at the end except political parameters we are going to understand the technical parameters here આપણે કોઈ પોલિટિકલ પેરામીટર્સ માટે નો ડિસ્કશન નહીં કરી ગયા we will discuss about only the technical parameters here now these are the contractors who are appointed for the atal tunnel the first and the most important was the starbud and afcon company afcon is an indian based company where starbud starbuck is a company of austria so both the countries are a partner of this particular construction india as well as austria not australia it is austria the contractors were selected after the project was approved by the indian cabinet committee uh, in the year 2009 now the another company which is initiator or which is con uh, connected with then australia based this one was austria it's a part of europe and australia it's a part of australian continent based on smec snowy mountains engineering corporation it leads to the excavation of the tunnel આ જે કંપની છે એ ટનલના એક્સકેવેશન માટે ડિફાઇન થયેલી કંપની છે એઝ વેલ એઝ ઇટ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો કન્સિડર્ડ એઝ અ પ્રોજેક્ટ મેનેજમેન્ટ કંપની વિચ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ધ વિચ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ મેનેજ વિચ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ મેનેજ ધ હોલ પ્રોજેક્ટ વિચ હેવ ઓલરેડી મેનેજ ધ હોલ પ્રોજેક્ટ મેન ઇટ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ધ ફિઝિબિલિટી સ્ટડી ફોર ધ પ્રોજેક્ટ વોઝ ડન બાય રાઇટ્સ રેલ ઇન્ડિયા ટેકનિકલ એન્ડ ઇકોનોમિક સર્વિસિસ સો ધીસ ઓલ આર ધ કંપનીઝ વિચ આર કનેક્ટેડ વિથ ધીઝ પર્ટિક્યુલર પ્રોજેક્ટ in addition of that shapurji palanji is also a part of this particular project i think you you have all have heard the word shapurji palanji it is a branch company of tata consultancy now this is the location of a tunnel the ye yellow blinking line is the location of a tunnel previously it was connected with the red line afterwards it is connected with the yellow line now let me show you the detailed distance or detail thing 
into the map. Now this is a location. I hope the screen is visible to all. Now look over the distance. This is Manali and this is Kailong. That what we have heard just before a few minutes ago. It is connected to the Kailong. Uh, so route from the lay is from Manali via Kailong to the lay. This is the uh, route from Manali, Kailong to lay. Now the distance from Manali to lay, uh, sorry, Manali to Kailong is 70 kilometers after construction of a tunnel. After construction of a tunnel. Now let me show you the previous distance, the previous uh, distance before the construction of a tunnel. It was 116 kilometers. As of now, it is 70 kilometers. Before construction, it was 116 kilometers. So we got the benefit of 46 kilometers after the construction of a tunnel. So Pailanaj time ago, it was 3 hours and 38 minutes, approximately to reach from Manali to Kelong. Now it is around 2 hours. Havenaj time ago, that is now it is around 2 hours. Now let me show you the few another things. Just give me a second. Now I'm showing you. The new route. I know Novo Ruche, which was constructed after the tunnels. Now look over this location. Previously, it was crosses over the mountains. Previously, it was crossed over the mountains like this. And it reaches up to this location. And it reaches up to this location. And those all are the open to sky roads. It means they are not covered. They are not tunnels. These all are the open roads. But the open roads. Now over this location, there is a famous Rotan Pass is there. Our location of a famous Rotan Pass. Now look over that location. This whole area is covered with the snow. This whole area is covered with the snow. I am showing the uh, images about the historical images. This is the month of October. You can see that there isn't covered with the snow. Highly snowy coverage is not there. In the month of November, it is highly covered with the snow. So from November to the end of February or to the first week of the May, May sorry, to the end of the March, it is not connected with the road. About Manali to Lay Highway is totally closed off from the winter to the peak, uh, to the initial portion of the summer. Because it is fully covered with the snow. Akhyaku Highway fully covered with snow. Thi. So every time uh, in a winter season, it is fully covered with the snow. Now this white line a represent, is a representation of a tunnel. It's a representation of a tunnel. Now, if you want to develop, if you want to develop any road, which path you will select? A shortest path or a longest path? Which you are going to select? As, as being an engineer, which you will choose? A shortest path or a longest path? So you all are going to choose a shortest path rather than the longest path. Now, when it's a, when there is a chance of tunnel, we are always choosing or we are always preferring the shortest track. We are always preferring the shortest track. Now look over the mountain range. Look over the mountain range. This is only the shortest path. This is only the shortest path from the Manali. So we have developed an approach road to this location and this is the tunnel. That is the reason why we have selected this region only rather than a different region. Look over this. This is the longest. This is the longest. Uh, no, one of the longest, not all the longest. This is the longest. But this one 
is the shortest route of that particular mountain range. That's why we have selected this region, this region for the construction of an adult tunnel. As well as it will reduce the distance by, oh, sorry, it has reduced the distance by four to six kilometers. Let's get, let's get back to the topic. So you can see the location. The red line was the previous location, was the previous route. And the uh, yellow line is the new location. Now let's understand what are the challenges faced for the execution of tunnel. The most challenging task. Just give me a second. Was to continue the excavation during heavy snowfall in the winter. It was the most challenging task, that is to continue the construction process or to continue the excavation process during the heavy snowfall because there won't be any electricity, there won't be any connectivity to the different locations to provide the materials, to provide the labors, to provide the food, etc. There wasn't any connectivity during the winter season. Excavation tunnel, uh, just give me a second. Now this was the location. Uh, this is the location of a tunnel. This is considered as the northern portal. Uh, suppose if I'm dividing it into uh, directions, if I'm providing the directions, this is the north direction, and this is the south direction. So this end is considered as a northern end, and this end is considered as a southern end. So there are two ends into the tunnel: northern end as well as the southern end. Now you can see over this location, it is not fully covered with the snow. You can see that the southern end is not connected with the snow. However, northern end is connected with the snow. It is always affected with the snow. Northern end is always affected with the snow. So that is being more critical over the northern portal rather than the southern portal. Northern portal is jitlu affection thay che. Ena garda vadar affection southern portal le thayu during the construction. So excavation for tunneling was done from both the ends. We have we have initiated from the both the ends, from the southern end as well as from the northern end. However, Rotang Pass closes during the winter, as we have discussed. The northern portal was not accessible during the winter, and the excavation was being done only from the south portal in the winter. So in winters, there wasn't any construction processor uh, being happens in the winter season for over the northern side. Only about one fourth of the entire tunnel was excavated from the north end, and three fourth was excavated from the south end. So a JK point tunnel, it was about 8.8 .8 kilometers long. And among them, a fourth part is only excavated from the northern portal or the, from the northern end and remaining 75 percentage part was excavated from the southern end so 2.2 kilometers approximately 2.2 kilometers was only excavated from the northern side and remaining 6.6 .6 kilometer was excavated from the south end why what was the reason this one is the main reason behind it why there is a lake of construction during the sun, winter season so there were more than 46 avalanche sites. Now this is another hurdle. That is to understand what are the avalanche sites. This is also a new word for all of you. That is what are the avalanche sites. Or what is the avalanche that we are going to discuss after a few seconds. So this was the problem in addition of that. Now, if you are excavating some land, that is a generation of excavated stuff. So, this is the excavated stuff. And the question was about that to dispose that particular stuff. Where to dispose that particular stuff? Now, in this particular project, we are constructing a tunnel. So, it is difficult to dispose that particular stuff. It is very difficult to dispose that particular stuff. And that was also another major challenge over this particular project. Now, let's understand. Other challenges to the progress of the tunnel include difficulties in disposing more than 8 lakh meter cube of excavated rock and soil 
as well as heavy ingredients of water when we are dealing with the tunneling over the mountainous region there is a generation of there is an heavy ingredient of water also and as much as 3 million liters just try to think about it 3 into 10 raised to 6 liters 3 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day in the month of june in the year 2012 atlu water no incoming atu and it is very difficult to dispose that particular water quantum. It was very difficult, very difficult to dispose that particular quantum. So this is all are the technical reasons behind it, why it was delayed. Because before the construction, we are not aware with such condition because the Himalayas is the surprising in a nature that already we have understand. We don't know that which kind of situation may happen over that particular tunneling process. Tunneling process with a kind of surprising situation and at that time we have just considered about the accelerated stuff but in addition of that was an heavy ingredients of water and that required constant dewatering dewatering it means ke je kai pan pani bharai gayu che pani ne bar kad and it was very costly at treatment and the slow the process it will it it has prepared it has make the pro progress very slow kai rite kitlo slow it was around 5 meter per day excavation was that but during the this particular season, it was just half a meter in a day. So pehla apne 5 kilo, 5 meter ek divas ma tunneling kare shakta tha. Instead of that, ke apne kahi ardho meter aj kare shakta tha. In this particular season, in this particular year. So this was another challenge. In addition of that, there are always surprises into the atmosphere also in this particular region. And there was a cloud burst. It means that Gujarat is considered as a cloud burst. And there was a flash flood. Flash flood. Flash flood it means a flood which is having a higher intensity. intensity flow And it was disturbed all the things. And 8th of August 2003, there was 42 laborers which was killed into this particular cloud burst. Who were de developing the temporary access road to the tunnel. The people tunnel ne access road. Ne develop so this kinds of challenges we have faced during the projects. Now let's understand what are the avalanches. Avalanche is such a An avalanche is a moving mass of snow that slides down mountain slopes under the force of gravity and buries all that comes in the path. So it will always travel from peak to the bottom. It will always travel from the high hill towards the downhill. And it will travel with the snow. And that is a higher quantum of a snow mass. And it will burn all the things. And avalanche occurs when a layer of snow collapses. A character creates fashion when there is a snow of layer and which is going to be a collapse and slides toward the Towards the downhill. Avalanche are caused by four different factors a steep slope, a snow cover, a weaker layer in the snow, and the last one, which is a trigger. What is trigger? Let we, we will discuss after a few seconds. Now, among this, all the four factors, 90 percentage, 90 percentage avalanches are formed due to a trigger. It will trigger the air mass. It will trigger the atmosphere at that particular location. Now, what it means, let me show you. For example, consider it as an example. This is our atmospheric air mass. Few part is covered with the snow. It means inside that air mass, there is a volume of snow. Remaining volume is a wind. It means there are air particles inside it. Now, this air mass or this mass is fully covered or which is it doesn't having any space the volume is fully covered with snow as well as with the air mass now if is there any upcoming entrainment of a wave or a wind of or a snow it can allow to enter into that air mass so it will disturb this particular air mass and which leads to an avalanche and it was to lead avalanche it means this whole air mass is triggered with a pressure due to entrainment of further upcoming air mass and it will trigger this particular air mass and it will leads to the avalanche 
and among all those four factor 90 percentage avalanches are due to this particular hatch thing that is a trigger of an air mass avalanches can travel up to 90 kilometers per hour so just look about the velocity it is 90 kilometers per hour it can travel into the 90 uh, with the speed of 90 kilometers per hour now let me show you uh, i'm just going to plot a line over the tunnel region we can plot over the tunnel region over the side of a tunnel region and i am giving you a name it as an utter tunnel. Now let me show you an elevation profile. Now look over the profile. Uh, at present, you can see a red arrow that is towards the northern end of a northern portal or towards the northern direction of a tunnel. Now this is the peak. It is around 4,852 meters, and it avalanche will travel towards the downside. It means I know Jake I want snow mass ocean. It will travel towards this location. Towards the downside. Now, do you feel it is safe to construct a normal roads to the atmospheric road to the open air roads? Do you find it is feasible? Tell me, Sharo. Today, if I'm open roads cover up karoj, if I'm constructing an uh, open to sky roads. Do you feel is it feasible? Is it safe in such conditions? No, it is not safe. That's why it is necessary. That's why it is necessary to construct a tunnel over that location. That's why it is necessary to construct a tunnel over that location. Uh, during the avalanches, there is a uh, there is a uh, vast uh, quantum of stress also. If it will impact on the tunnel also. That's why we need to consider avalanches in this particular location. Suppose tomorrow Dabu China per ek sathe bauch bada still na goda padesh. So it will damage the terrace. It will damage your slab. The same kind of situation happens over here. That's why we need to consider avalanches. Now this is a routine landslides. A routine landslides in that there is the soil mass. Any in the soil mass variation. This is also a typical land slide. This is also a typical end slide. Now you can see that it is traveling from the uphill towards the downhill. A uphill mathi downhill side j direction. But this one is an avalanche. I think the photograph market videos in the Rabadu, Joel Ocean in the movies and etc. This is also an avalanche. So that is a uh, heavy snow mass which has traveled from the uphill towards the downhill sector. Now we have to consider this parameter also. That's why let's discuss what are the remedies for avalanches. We cannot actually stop it, but we can resist against it. Can we stop the flood? Can we stop earthquake? No, we cannot. But can we resist it? Can we resist against earthquake? Can we resist against flood? Similarly, we cannot stop the avalanche, but definitely we can create the resistance structures. Earthquake, jid the earthquake, flood, samistar, resist Similarly, we can resist against the avalanches. So these are the remedies. First one, that is the avalanche dams. Second one, which are the wind battles. Third one is the snow supporting structures. Fourth one is the wire fencing. And the fifth one is the Gabion wall. These all are the remedies for avalanche. In this project, in Atal Channel, this two type of Remedies are provided a snow supporting structure as well as a Gabion wall. These two types of remedies are provided into this particular project. Now, let's discuss, let's see how it looks. On the left hand side, you can see an image 
which is a representation of an avalanche dam if you want to protect the flood we are going to construct a dam similarly if we are going if you want to protect an avalanche we are going to construct an avalanche dam and this one is the hollow earth section a open section in between that these are the windows which allow to pass the snow and this bunds will protect the snow mass ya snow mass ne protect karshe ane remaining just space around 33% space which allow to pass the snow mass but it will reduce the velocity it will reduce the velocity so first structure is an avalanche dam second one are the wind buffers uh, it looks like a very simple one but the purpose of this particular wind buffers are major one as i said 90% of avalanches are due to an triggering of air mass triggering of an atmospheric situation so here we are going to cut the wind we are here we are going to divert the wind velocity here we are going to separate the wind velocity it means we are going to reduce the velocity and for that we are developing the wind baffles and ena mate then apne wind baffles banaiye che it won't allow to trigger the air mass and if there isn't any triggering of the air mass there won't any development of an avalanche at that location that's why we are developing wind baffles let me show you an image look over that all right when is a providing of an wind baffles it has cut almost all the things almost majority of the soil mass snow mass not a soil mass look at that thing the situation this is the shadow actually this is not the wind ba ba wind uh, buffers are not that is all the that's all the shadows but here it has resisted lots of snow over that location so this is the purpose of wind baffles now the third one and the most important these are the supporting structure supporting structure it means nothing but we are just providing a grill over that location apne aa rite supporting grills provide kari dechhe we are providing supporting hurdles over the location so whenever there will be a moving mass it will stop over this location it will reduce the intensity it will reduce the velocity of a snow so this all are the supporting structures look over that this is uh, this is the photograph after uh, after the avalanche but you can see that it has created or it has stopped the quantum of snow over its path and in a path in the gana bada quantum has stopped kari rakhyo so it will work as a frictional barrier also it will work as a uh, hurdle also it will uh, it will uh, work as a speed breaker also look over this almost whole mountain almost whole summit is covered with this supporting structures in this type of project this kinds of supporting structures are provided over the peak and je kai pan peak cha apna project nu e jagya upar pan atyare ana thi cover up karelu chu with the supporting structures let's understand about the wire fences these are the normal ones we are providing wire fences over the peak from to the bottom it will stop the path it will reduce the velocity as well as it will stop the quantum of a snow when it travels from the uphill to the downhill now these are the gabion walls it is also constructed into this particular project our project in the gabion walls were constructed thelish over the left hand side you can see the structure this is a gabion wall gabion wall is nothing but it is uh, it is uh, there is a cage which is filled with the stones then a stone the fill kari de dela hoy i think direct jone joel wash all let me show you this give me a second now uh, this are the gabion walls in the photograph you can see that this all are the gabion walls this kinds of walls are constructed over the path of a uh, over the path of an avalanche this all are the gabion walls with a different size with a different uh, stone size different cage size etc that is also part of one of the our webinar about the gabions as nowadays it is very important uh, construction methodology so this all are the remedies against avalanche five remedies are there first one it was avalanche dam second one which was wind baffles third one which was supporting structure fourth one which was wire fencing and the fifth one which is an 
get you involved for that. Now let's understand about the project. Let's understand the overview of a project. Rotang Tunnel is 8.8 .8 kilometer in the line, extending from Dundi to which is 25 kilometers away from the Manali to the Tali. Tunnel ni length is 8.8 .8 kilometer, but it is directly not connected with the Manali. A Manali is directly connected. Nadi. It is 25 kilometers away from the Manali to the Tali. Let me show you the Tali location also. Over the screen, you can see that over the northern portal. This is the Atal Tunnel. This is the tallying location. This is towards the northern portal sector. And Manali is at this location. Manali Ajigya portion, which is 25 kilometers away from this location. This road tunnel will ease the life of the Lahul and Spiti district, populous by providing all weather road, all weather connectivity, and will contribute the socio-economic development of this particular area. Now, if you are aware with that particular location, so the a location is situation the uh, None of the area is connected with that particular region during the winter season. Winter season in the Koipan area, anati connected nothing. It is separated from the main locations. So over that location, you have to store the fuel, you have to store the grains, you have to store all the vegetables and all the things during the winter season. bound fuel utilize So you are bound with that situation. Now, do you feel uh, do you feel uh, feel a good over that particular situation? If you are a part of that particular situation. Just try to think about it. Tamari jode abhi vastu sa hai ke tamne bound kari de ke tamari ek mahina ni under khali five liter of petrol use karwano chhe. Tamari ek mahina mat bare liter petrol no use karwano chhe. In at every year during the winter season, so it was so the life of those particular person is not that much easier, and it will make easier of now. Now, if there is an any medical emergency. Medical emergency only air ambulance is the option because no rail network is there, road network is there, but it is stopped, it is closed during the winter season. So it is very difficult to travel, it is very difficult to transport a patient from one location to another location. So at that time, only an air ambulance is the option. But during the heavy snowfall, due to atmospheric situation, we cannot travel or we cannot run air ambulances. So our other issues a location person. So this is very difficult to connect that particular region during the winter season. If you are talking about the uh, part of that particular region during the winter season, it is not accessible till lay. Jain sudhi lay nati audu, tiyan sudhi accessible nati. Let me show you. Now this is the lay location. The whole area, you can see that it is the whole area is covered with the snow. The white portion is the snow. And the whole area is covered with the snow. And the area is inaccessible. Thing. Now, if you are talking about the security purposes, there are two different paths. Let me show you. First one is from Srinagar to Leh. And second one, which is from Manali to Leh. And you all are aware, there are higher chances of terrorist attack over the Srinagar location, from the Srinagar location. So we cannot consider this road as a safe location. Our location, a safe location, that we can consider nothing. So this is only the safe location that is from Manali to Leh. That's why we have constructed an tunnel over this particular path. And now it is accessible throughout the year. So there are two purposes. First one about the connectivity of that particular people. And second one, which is about the security. That is the main reason why we have developed a tunnel over that particular region. It is constructed in the Pir Panjal range, as, as, as that we have already discussed. 
इट ऑल्सो एक्ट एज एन एंट्रंस ऑफ द लेक जो मैं तुमने बता दू की लेक ने जो कनेक्ट करे सो इट इज वर्क एज एन एंट्रंस ऑफ द लेक दिस फ्री वे नाउ हाउ द टनल इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड इट इज एन बाय डायरेक्शनल डुप्लेक्स टनल इट मीन्स के इन पॉइंट शो एंड आउट पॉइंट शो इनकमिंग इज ऑल्सो अलाउड एंड आउट गोइंग इज ऑल्सो अलाउड दिस इज द शेप इट इज दॉर्स शू शेप घोड़ा नु जो पग होना जो शेप है इट इज नॉट परफेक्टली सर्क्यूलर इट इज नॉट परफेक्टली सर्क्यूलर विथ टेन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर रोड वे वन मीटर पेडेस्ट्रियन ऑन इधर साइड इट मीन वन मीटर पेडेस्ट्रियन ऑन लेफ्ट हेंड साइड वन मीटर पेडेस्ट्रियन ऑन द राइट पेडेस्ट्रियन वे ऑन द राइट हेंड साइड And the carriage way is sorry. Uh, and the road way is around 10.5 meter. One meter shoulder on the left hand side. One meter shoulder on the right hand side. And 0.5 meter is for the curbing. So a uh, uh, road carriage way is around eight meter. So this is the situation. So this is your road. One meter from the left hand side. One meter from the right hand side. This is for pedestrian. And this is your carriage way. Consider. 0.5 meter of your curbing this is your carriage way the excavation area is from 120 to 150 meters now look at the shape of the tunnel it's around like this approximately is like this this is the horseshoe shaped tunnel abhi ke tunnel sir and this shaded area is around 120 to 150 meters square so this is an excavation this is an excavation area during the geological investigation this is the most important and the problematic location the the expected litho units along the tunnel alignment are composed of skeetos rock for a total of 7 kilometers these are the weakest rock 6.5 kilometers from south portal and 0.5 kilometer from north portal genesis rocks these are the interesting these are the failure uh, these are the rocks which allowed the failure it was they are going to be collapse after few application of a load phyllitic rock which allows development of a strain inside a rock and the quartzitic rock these are the stronger one but it is just up to 0.5 kilometers so you can see that the geology is not uniform over that particular region geology is in a varying nature geology aaj ek upar ni ekdam varying nature ni andar chhe it is not the constant one now let's understand the most important technical parameter about the construction method adopted for the atal or rohtang tunnel the principal support system for this tunnel will be a uh, was what's the combination of fiber reinforced concrete and rock bolt fiber reinforced concrete is not like a normal concrete inside it we are adding the fibers like a steel fibers we can add the uh, carbon fiber we can add and all the things that we can add yieldable stress uh, steel ribs i will show you in a video wait video ma tumne show garish ke rock bolt shoe uh, fiber reinforced concrete shoe uh, that all the thing i will show you into the uh, video were used as an additional support in a poor rock areas ab ani nu combination badhi jagya upar jab about the fibers and fiber reinforced concrete and rock bolt and yieldable steel ribs are only provided into the weaker zones only the tunnel have semi transverse ventilation with fans to circulate the air have ana base upar focus kariye so there is a problem regarding temperature there is a problem regarding atmospheric situation there is a problem regarding its geology in addition of that we have to consider the problem regarding the uh, thinking process of ourselves about the hallucination process about the our uh, filling thing fillings and all the things we have to consider now let me show let me tell you suppose try to think about it ki tumhe ek road upar travel kari rahe ho you are traveling into the road and the whole road is a dark there isn't any provision of a light over that particular road a road ni andar koi pan jat no lighting nahi no one is in front of you no one is behind you tamari agad pan koi nahi tamari pachad pan koi nahi however will you feel safe over that particular location tame evi jagya upar tame putani jatne safe samajho kar andharu chhe 
તમારી આગળ પણ કોઈ નથી તમારી પાછળ પણ કોઈ નથી છતાં પણ તમે તમારી સેલ્ફ ને એ જ લોકેશન ઉપર સેફ સમજશો ખરા નો સો પ્રેક્ટિકલ યુ આર સેફ બટ સાયકોલોજીકલી યુ વિલ ફીલ દેટ થિંગ યુ આર નોટ સેફ એટ દેટ ટાઈમ સાયકોલોજીકલી તમને પ્રોબ્લેમ થશે કે સાયકોલોજીકલી તમારા માઇન્ડમાં એવું થશે દેટ યુ આર નોટ સેફ ઇન ટુ યોર ઇન દેટ પર્ટિક્યુલર રોડ ઇફ યુ આર ટોકિંગ અબાઉટ યોર હાઉસ તમારા ઘરની અંદર સડનલી લાઈટ જતી રહેશે અને આખે આખું અંધારું થઈ જાય છે કેન યુ ટ્રાવેલ ફ્રોમ વન રૂમ ટુ અનધર રૂમ વિથ ધ સેમ સ્પીડ તમે સેમ સ્પીડથી એક લોકેશનથી બીજા લોકેશન એક રૂમમાંથી બીજા લોકેશનમાં જઈ બીજા રૂમમાં જઈ શકશો ખરા ચોવીસ કલાક માટે રહેવાનું કહું છું ડ્યુ ફીલ comfortable in that particular room when all the doors and when all the windows are closed do you find the fresh breath do you find do you find the fresh air into that particular room you cannot find it so just think about it this is an 8.8 km long tunnel and if you are not providing ventilation over that location it will create it will change our psychological pattern we will feel the disturbance we will feel disturbance during while we are uh, taking oxygen apne jare pan oxygen leta rahishu tar apne ek disturbance feel karu we cannot feel safe we cannot breathe well that's why it is required to design a ventilation over that location je main tumne kidu andhara ma travel karvano from one room to another room that is also related to the psychological pattern that's why we are providing constant lighting into that particular tunnel એટલે માટે આપણે કોન્સ્ટન્ટલી લાઇટિંગ ને બધું પ્રોવાઈડ કરીએ છીએ સો એક્સેપ્ટ જિયોલોજીકલ પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ એક્સેપ્ટ એટમોસ્ફેરિક પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ ધીસ સાયકોલોજીકલ પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ હેવ ટુ કન્સિડર ડ્યુરિંગ ધ કન્સ્ટ્રક્શન ઓફ અ ટનલ એટલે માટે આ બધી વસ્તુ આ જગ્યા પર પ્રોવાઈડ કરી છે ધેટ ઇઝ વિથ ધ વેન્ટિલેશન ટુ સર્ક્યુલેટ ધ એર એન્ડ ઓલ ધ થિંગ્સ ઇન એડિશન ઓફ ધેટ વી હેવ કન્સ્ટ્રક્ટેડ ટુ એક્સેસ રોડ વન ઇઝ ટુ ધ નોર્થ એન્ડ પોર્ટ and another one is from the southern portal avo hu tamne baat karu exactly je road che about the 2.5 km connecting road this is the second guys now this is the connecting road over that location there is an southern portal and this is the connecting or approach road to the normal ground we have constructed we have completed to uh, we have completed construction of this particular road in the year 2005 now let me show you the historical data why we need to construct that particular road because uh, before construction of a tunnel it was not accessible now this is an image of 2020 now just look over the image just give me a second just allow to load now look over this do you find any roads over this location this is an image of 2001 photography in the jo tumne koi pan jata roads dekhai hai kara this is a scenario of in of the year 2020 look at the roads so previously there wasn't any kinds of road over that location we have constructed up during the construction during the tunneling process so one is up to northern portal and another one is towards the southern portal southern portal 
and of among 46 avalanche sites we have provided 18 avalanche protection structures because all this 46 light or this 46 avalanche sites are not that much risky any other the other location is ever the is a risky is any a body is a go for our protection structures provide cash at a few location there are supporting structure and at a few location there are gabion balls now this is not need to be extended now about the wastage an appropriate area of the construction site is reserved for stockpiling construction waste which is then transferred transported to the waste pit as i said before the disposal of a dump the disposal of a construction waste is a major problem in this particular site because around 8 lakh meter cube volume was there so how we have developed that thing we have specifically defined an area a jk construction waste average a but then after the lake area my dump curve and then after we are shifted toward the dumping site which are the lower in the level it's a lower area any in the rubber and a fill curry though for example tamara gurney tamara guru renovation challenge so south of the tamara guru jk on waste station a palatine tamara makani bar and then after you are going to transport it towards the dump site which is the main tractor my brain a dump site to permission so first jay the metamara gurney bar ratio that area is considered as an stock filling construction waste area did the mara gurney the mebar ratio similarly tunnel the exit bar area mukwa area my construction waste mukwa mara and then after we have shifted toward the west it is a dumping yard to any other pachi mukwa for mukal wama so that was the solution about the construction waste 2.5 kilometer of the tunnel were excavated by january 2012 and most of the work, work were being carried out in accordance with the time schedule major bars you know but the time schedule proper childhood but as we have discussed that in the in the month of june 2012 there was an ample quantity of water coming out from the site and that was a major reason why we are delaying in that in that particular project so just the major bars the new other thing it we are on the time schedule but after that there was a delayed into the project now uh, one more sentence is need to be understand it should be noted that excavation of the south portal progressed a bit faster already we have discussed as the north portal is situated under the rotan pass which is inoperable in winter and so the access to this part of the site is then impossible so winter in the our side so we have to go impossible so, that's why we have considered about the southern portal only. We have provided LSCs also. Now, what are the LSCs? These are the lining stress controllers. As I said, Himalayan mountains are uh, swelling in a nature, collapsible in a nature, as well as they are squeezing in a nature. Squeezing, it means it will create a stress. And when there is a high stress, there are chances of a collapse of that particular rock. It is not about stress ne control. Karta locations upper lsc units which will measure the stress and it will uh, define us about to generation of a rock pressure to avoid uncontrollable cracking due to stress concentration in that particular corner is a normally iron in the room failure thanks the construction of the final tunnel lining with unreinforced concrete started after construct completion of the primary tunnel so you have stages in a first stage we have completed the primary concreting which was fiber reinforced concreting and above that that is without reinforcement that is the another coating so we have constructed it into two different codes. I will show you a small video regarding that so that you can understand the whole thing. Okay. Second sentence, first sentence, I just some Ventilation duct slabs are installed section wise using the cast in situ method. Cast in situ method at one a site upperage casting it wasn't a pre-cast block. Whereas below the road level, 
then is an emergency escape tunnel that is accessible every 500 meter from the main tunnel it means main tunnel in niche bachi bg tunnel which is considered as an emergency tunnel i will show you the cross section also in that pre cast concrete elements are used for construction of this emergency escape tunnel in a ventilation there are cast in situ in a emergency tunnel there are pre cast concrete elements this is the photograph of actual site these are the precast emergency blocks je emergency tunnel ni andar apne je block ne construct karega chhe so site upar e construct thai chhe and then after we have shifted it towards the site just look over the cross section i know main road venture in this direction the vehicle will travel towards this side in this carriage way the vehicle will comes from this side so the side we i said it's a bi axial tunnel this is your emergency tunnel which is constructed below the main tunnel and these are the precast block this is the ventilation slab and these are the cast in situ slab it means any agar apne form work provide kare lo hai and we have constructed the slab in this we have constructed it onto the plant and then after we have shifted it into the tunnel now you can uh, see the side view also the main road is connected in the benching the main tunnel is connected over the benching and the ventilation slab is the part of heading ventilation slab is the part of heading now look at the shape this is the horseshoe shape goda nu jeppa go energy ocho it is not circular in the nature it is not circular in the nature this is a kicker linings kicker lining it means at which allow uh, for the releasing of the stress the stress ne release karva mate beneficial cha this is constructed with the short crete short crete it means it is nothing but it is a spraying of concrete with the vacuum pressure this c40 is a grade of concrete which is commercial 40 je normally apne m30 m40 rite boliye chhe c is considered as a commercial 40 grade the meaning is same that is 40 newton per millimeter square the meaning is same but for the commercial structures we are designing such kinds of thing this is a short crete grade short crete grade 35 this is m40 grade we all are aware with that m40 grade so this is the cross section of a tunnel at the bottom we have provided a pcc with the grade of m15 so main road is connected with uh, is constructed in the benching and the ventilation slab is constructed in the heading now let's discuss the detailed construction methodology have our main part upar abhi 8802 meters long and about 3000 meter above the sea level the single tube bi axial tunnel is 5.5 meter high now about which thing i am considering the 5.5 meter right let me show you look over this thing just from the main road to the ventilation slab it is 5.636 meter so it is 5.5 meter high was bored through solid rock nearly 2 kilometers under the rotan pass the makers used a drill and blast technique for excavation coupled with the new australian 
tunneling method for construction this is the most important sentence for all of us which method was there for the construction of a tunnel drill and blast technique for the excavation with the coupling with the new australian tunneling method another parallel tunnel of 3.3 by 2.2 meter and emergency passage of sort has been constructed under the tunnel with staircase at every 500 meter connecting to the main tunnel so we cannot travel with the by the vehicles in an emergency tunnel emergency tunnel chale vehicle apne tyan agar nahi lai jai sakta by staircases tamare niche avu padse ane e tunnel ni andar thi dorta dorta tamare bahar jao padse in any emergency cases in a in if there is there in any fire if there is any accident or that thing that's why we have provided emergency tunnel also into below the main tunnel that was a cross section that what we have discussed now this is the view of a northern portal before during the construction procedure now just look over this left hand side there is an image of winter right hand side there is an image of summer or any other season this is the northern portal look over this look at the northern portal into the winter now do you think that we can construct it is it accessible into the winter season now do you feel that so that was the main reason behind it why northern portal side construction was slowing down shuka mein slow slow hota that was the main reason behind it now this all are the tunnel construction methods that all the things we need to understand there are tbm methods any tunnel alag alag techniques chan slurry tbm epb tbm and vd tbm tbm it means it is tunnel boring machines epb it means it is earth pressure balance boring machines vd tbm it means varying density tunnel boring machines this is the first technique ahmedabad ni andar je tere metro nu construction thai rahi chhe in ahmedabad this technique was applied ahmedabad ni andar ni je tunnel chhe ani andar art meta technique ne apply kareli chhe then after there is a cut and cover method in that there are two types we are going to cut the tunnel from the bottom to the up and in a second method we are going to cut the tunnel from top to the bottom so these two methods are there in a cut and cover method third one there isn't any different method this itself a method in this the, the fourth one drill and blast method in this one there is an natm technique new australian tunneling method and this was the part of our project apna project no part je che a method che that was about the drill and blast method now let's understand why we have defined drill and blast method rather than this uh, this three method shukam apne baki ni tron method karta chauthi method ne consider kari now let's understand into a brief we are not going to discuss it into a detail it is very adaptable and flexible short mobilization time requirement any required shape what was the shape in of our particular tunnel apni tunnel mate no shape kayo chhe if anyone remembers we already discussed what is the shape of our tunnel that was a horseshoe ghoda no je pag che ena jevu che it's a horseshoe tunnel it is not exactly circular is possible primary rock support can be installed total investment cost is less total investment cost is less investment cost less che tunnel shape can be changed along the drive line tunnel na shape ne apne change pan kari shakiye che now let's understand about the disadvantage as it's a manual method a ek manual method che that's why it needs the lots of workers and the safety of worker is why is a big issue over this particular method if we are following the safety precautions it will be a safe but if you are not if you are not taking the precautions it will be a dangerous but labor cost is high here construction cost is low but labor cost is high here and a low level of automation and mechanism mechanism task also 
इट मीन्स अगर कोई कम्प्यूटराइज टेक्निक नहीं अँ कोई मशीनरी टेक्निक नहीं ऑल आर द मेन्युअल मेथड्स कई रीते वर्क करे देट वी विल डिस्कस इन वन विडियो नॉ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द टीबीएम इट इज वेरी हाई परफॉर्मेंस एंड लोअर लेवल कॉस्ट एज इट इज कनेक्टेड विद द कम्प्यूटर मेकेनिजम हाई प्रोग्रेस रेट especially in a soft ground now do you find the soft ground in our pro project site apna project site ni andar soft ground chhe karo our mountain region is connected with the rocky strata that's why it is not beneficial for a case it develops a less noise disturbance surrounding the structure best way for constructing deep and long tunnels but it is beneficial special in the soft ground which is not a part of our case study now let's understand about the disadvantages limited flexibility in response to extreme of geologic condition now in this case there is an extremity of a geological conditions but ahi agar a jare geological problem so at that time it won't work beneficial high investment cost tbm mobilization it means to tra transport from one location to another location that is very difficult now in our in our case study it is very difficult to travel in such roads jabre curvature wala road jo hai any other any travel karine lai jao it is very difficult then after fixed circular geometry so we cannot construct any other shape in tbm by using a tbm method that is the main reason why we have not selected a tbm method for the construction however it is very fast but we haven't considered that thing because approach is shape joito though it wasn't a desired shape for this particular method now let's understand this this two remaining method about the jack box method and a cut and cover method economical and better quality control time saving in a manpower and machinery no involvement of crane and heavy equipment less involvement of other department this all are the benefits but it needs a trained staff and skill supervision in position which is not possible in our country to provide all the time a skill laborers once the vertical and lateral alignment of box is disturbed it becomes almost impossible to rectify and in our case there are lots of chances of an collapse so it will always it will always disturb the shape of a tunnel kindly mute yourself it will always disturb the shape of a tunnel so that is the main problem why we haven't go through the jack box tunnel now the last one on uh, the disadvantage cover karu chu however it is a cheaper one a bahut cheaper chu which is having the small risk but it is not suitable for very deep excavation so that is the reason why we have not selected this two methods also and that is the main reason why we have selected natm method rather than the different methods now let's understand the main geological problem the tunneling work was started in the august 2010 and it progressed satisfactorily without complication till 1902 meter change એટલે 1.9 km સુધી પહોંચે ત્યાં સુધી કોઈ પણ જાતના પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ નતા આયા and that location was there over the sheri nala કદાચ તમે કોઈ ઇન્ટરવ્યુ કે એવું સાંભળેલું હોય તો એની અંદર આ વર્ડ બોલે છે that is the sheri nala location which was the weakest location in december 2011 the quality of encountered rock started deteriorating resulting in large delays and slow advancement furthermore at chenich have we reached here june bajet bar ni andar at chenich 1950 the condition become almost devoid of rock and only muck along with the water muck it means you can consider it as a mud also ek jaat no rock ni andar thi je waste aave ch that is considered as a muck and the flow of water was coming out from that particular rock uh, rocky strata and it was around 3 million liters per day and that was the muck flow that is considered as a muck flow this was a major problem over that location to encounter this complex challenges as the muck flow become unmanageable a thick shortcrete face still sill is implemented 
તો એના માટે આપણે શું કર્યું વી હેવ થ્રો અ થીક શોર્ટ ક્રેટ ફેસ ઇટ મીન્સ આપણે કોન્ક્રીટિંગ કર્યું બાય વિથ સ્પ્રે એન્ડ વી હેવ કવર દેટ પર્ટિક્યુલર લોકેશન ફોર ધ સેફ્ટી પર્પસીસ ફર્ધર ટુ કંટ્રોલ ધ રૂફ કોલેપ્સ અમુક જગ્યા પર પાણી ના આવ્યું બટ એનું જે ટોપ હતું દેટ વોઝ કોલેપ્સ સો વી હેવ પ્રોવાઇડેડ સિંગલ ઓર ડબલ પાઇપ પ્રૂફ હેવ બીન ઇન્સ્ટોલ એન્ડ ફેસ પોસ્ટ અહેડ બાય સિક્વન્શિયલ એક્સકેવેશન વેન પાયલોટ ટનલ એક્સકેવેશન ઇઝ દેટ શું છે આઈ વિલ શો યુ ઇન્ધ ફોટોગ્રાફ ઇન એડિશન ટુ ધીસ સમ ટેમ્પરરી એડજસ્ટમેન્ટ આર ઓલ્સો મેડ ટુ કંટ્રોલ ધ એક્સેસિવ ડિફોર્મેશન યુઝિંગ વુલન લોક્સ ઓલિશિયલ look over the second and third photograph is jo upar tumne pani bahar aavtu dekha hai look at look at that thing the whole area is covered with the water so for that we have provided support and then after we did a short crate processor then after we have sealed the whole phase apne short crate se akya ki phase ne seal kari de now you can see that there is a failure from the top you can see that so we have provided the roof over that location and then after we have initiated to construct a tunnel as a pilot tunnel એટલે પહેલા આપણે એક નાના કડું બાકોરો કરીએ અને એ પછી આખી આખી ટનલ ને એક્સકેવેટ કરીએ so first of all we are going to excavate only this area and then after we are going to construct the whole area so at certain location there was a drift excavation there was a drifting it means there was a lateral displacement was there so we have provided this kinds of supports over that location to stop such kinds of rock failures so this was the major geological problem in this particular tunnel now why we have considered anatm apne shu kaam anatm lidi as the rohtang tunnel transfer traverses in the young himalayan young himalayan word of it means you have to consider there is high stress high chances of deformation higher chances of earthquake and all the things it is having numbers of fault sites number of fault sites there are lots of numbers of shear zones and all the things there is high chahar chances of overburden higher ingrains of water and complex geology and this is only the method which can resist against all these failures in horseshoe shape in a tbm there is that we can construct only in the circular shape but with the horseshoe shape we can construct it into the uh, sorry in any tbm method we can construct it into the any any shape the cross section area of the tunnel which is quite high for installation of tbm it is it means you know it's 3000 meter upar che area it is very difficult to mobilize that instrument tbm instrument lai jao is very difficult advantage to anatm construction is that it can be changed at any instance and eventually support system so suppose tane ek jagah par eu lage che we can we, we need to change the shape of a tunnel we can by using an anatm method but we can not do with the uh, with the tbm method the geological investigation is a prime and foremost requirement for the construction of any underground structure however himalayan topography and lithology this investigations are incredibly difficult ek scientist me tumne bata de do tunneling was different the tunneling is difficult in a young himalayan range so that is the reason why we have considered anatm method let's understand about the anatm method anatm is nothing but it is the concept of ground mobilizes its strength and act as ground support to some extent during excavation opening anatm gives flexibility in geometry the most important sentence je apne baat kari anatm gives the flexible geometry any shape can be excavated whereas the tbm excavates circular shapes where the stresses are equally distributed along the periphery of the tunnel but for us we cannot distribute stress over the upper location apne upar na location ni andar stress allow nahi kari sakta we can always distribute the shape over the bottom location that is the main reason why we have considered the anatm this is one of the main reason why we have considered anatm method 
we can adjust the sequence of a construction also any team working methodology is based on the principle of the mobilization of rock mass strength flexible support with the short crit deformation measurement quick closure of invert a design support as per the rock class and all the things avo tron god upar focus karish ahi agar short crit sequential excavation and deformation measurement i am going to focus on all these three words in the next slide any tm method is useful where geology is varying very frequently uh, i i have explained one sentence in 8 km there are lots of changes in a geology there are different kinds of rock in 1.5 km in 2 km in 2.5 km in 7 km etc that's why this is only the method which is feasible for our project now i am showing you a small video hu tumne ek video batao chu that is about the new australian tunneling method that is about the natm method i will explain each and everything during the video as there is no sound in this video as this is just an animation this we need to construct a main tunnel just look over this this is the mountain and we are constructing a tunnel below the inside a mountain our mountain ni andar tunnel ne construct karwani hai now a vehicle is entered into that particular location just look over this now which method we have applied drill and blast with natm method now this is an uh, this is an equipment which inject an explosives into this particular rock strata with the calculations which do not disturb other areas je bija area ne disturb nahi kare e rite apne ani andar with the calculation we are inserting then we are inserting and explosives that is an inserting of an explosive the machine will turn back and there will be a drip blast so you can see that there is a waste of soil and rock mass our je rock mass so it was around 8 lakh meter cube volume and this is difficult to expose now we have for that we have designed a conveyor belt you can see over that location aa jagah upar tumhe jo that is a mechanism to make it out this is a conveyor belt system now this is a short creating it means we are applying a concrete with the higher velocity this is a transit mixture you can see the vehicle which is having a pumping unit and we are spraying the concrete over the top and over the side which is a primary tunnel development which is a primary phase now there is an entrainment of a rock bolt you can see that any in the rock bolt no enter entering thing which will support towards the collapsion je kai pan rock no collapsion thai chhe ene is support karsha so we are inserting the rock bolt for the safety now we have provided a steel arch roof over the not only all the location but over the weaker section je je jagah upar weaker section che ena mate apne steel arch no support apelo che look at that thing that is an inserting of the steel arch now this was the this is the development of a primary tunnel a primary tunnel developed thing with the rock bolts with the short crit now this is the second step how will you just step out of this with the second step oh sorry sorry just give me a minute
Sorry for interruption. There was a there is an installment of steel arch. The section is ready. Now, as we know, as we know, the incoming or ingress of water is also major problem in our tunnel. Apni tunnel ni under je pani upper thi aave je. E pani ek bohj moto problem je. Bijo pani kai rite aavesh. As the whole mountain is covered with the snow. During the summer, it's going to be melt, and that water will enter into the work space, and that space is our tunnel. So, ये पानी नहीं पड़ मारे रोको ऊपर से, and for that we are constructed, we have installed a waterproofing sheet. So you can see that there is an application of waterproofing sheet which won't allow to enter the water inside the tunnel. जो allow नहीं करें tunnel नहीं इंदर पानी ने आवाज़ मारे. Now you can see that. Just give me a second. How is Jojo? A transit mixture under the area, Jojo. And there is a spring of concrete. So we are developing a lining. We are making a lined tunnel. So this is cast in C2 thing. And the whole tunnel is developed in such manner. That was the first method, which was NATM method. Now let's discuss about the tunnel boring machine method. Which is applied in Ahmedabad city. Over the right hand bottom, you can see a small red machine. Over the right hand bottom, just look over this. This is a tunnel boring machine. There is a cutting wheel which is circular in nature. now it will it will cut the soft rock masses and exactly after a few distance of 100 meters we can provide a concreting so in a natm method first of all we have to develop the primary tunnel section and then after the waterproofing and then after the lining section so it will consume more time but in a tunneling in a tbm method it will consume less time But however, if there was a limitation for our project, that's why we have applied NATM method rather than the tunnel boring method. So this is the methodology by using a TBM method. Now this is the NATM technique. Any other but one side the blast not done. Thoda thoda section of blast karishu. We are going to uh, provide the short creating. then after the rock bolt formation and then after the permanent support with the lining so it will develop shape like this also and alag alag section in the apne and divide kar liye now this is the first photograph sorry second not a first photograph you can see that That is an inserting of explosive by the machines. Machine the any under that explosives insert the reaction. This is the first photograph before the construction of a road, before the construction of a tunnel. So the first R type of tunnel hoti. No tunnel hoti, actually not a tunnel. We cannot say that the tunnel. The second stage. After the one blast, after the two blast, after the three blast, now we have entered into the section and we are developing the section. This is the J. Uh, Tamne upper pipeline jo amarach inside that there is a conveyor belt. By that conveyor belt there is a uh, that we are developing the path for the waste. This is the mud and this is the wastage. This is an actual photograph of the tunnel. This is also an actual photograph after the primary phase. Now this is the level. Where main tunnel is constructed. Below that, there is an emergency tunnel. Any niche emergency tunnel. Above them, there is a ventilation slab.
this is a short creating method this is a primary section which is developed after the whole short creating process and all the thing now this was the machine je apne baat kari ne about ek machine tame joyu do transit mixture ni pehla ek andar gayo do which has applied a uh, concreting and all the things aaj ek upar transit mixture cha which is connected with this pump and that concrete will flow through this pipelines ane ahi agar tamne jova marche these are the pores any under the concrete spray thatu everywhere there are pores and we can develop a lining of the concrete this is the actual photograph of the tunnel this is a south portal a machine of andar jato rahe the machine is entered into the tunnel and we are providing concreting to the tunnel this is a one of the photograph after providing a lining to the tunnel this was a kicker lining up to this it will also resist against the shear stress any side no jekai pan shear load aavshe ene manage karva mate pan kicker lining use thai and for that we have developed the kicker linings now this is the actual photograph after the whole construction you can see that there are exhaust fan and a ventilation now these are the features we have provided telephone at every 150 meter we have provided fire hydrant at every 60 meter to for a safety against fire we have provided emergency exit at every 500 meters for the emergency tunnel we have provided staircase apne steps mukela che dar 500 meter upar ke main tunnel madhi tame niche aavi shako we have provided turning cabins at every 2.2 kilometers if you want to take a turn and all the things air quality monitoring at every 1 km if there is a blast inside a uh, mountain and if the methane and all the things will enter into the tunnel we can monitor it gani badi jagah ava cases thayla ch that entrainment of the methane gas and all the things during the rock blasting automatic incident detection system it means if there is a generation of any accident we can detect it otherwise what will be the situation a tunnel in the koi ek limit ek location upar bus no accident thai ch it will stop the whole traffic and it is very difficult to manage that traffic over that particular location so we have provided automatic incident detection techniques width of carriage way excluding curbing is 10.5 meter maximum speed limit is allowed up to 80 km per hour for a vehicle which is designed for 3000 petrol cars you can go with the diesel car also and 1500 trucks a day ek divas ni andar atli limitation cha x beyond that it is not allowed and the tunnel reduces the distance between leh and manali by 46 km that what we have discussed during the introduction part so just think about a project during the initial stage we we find it very difficult આપણે ઇનિશિયલ સ્ટેજ ની અંદર બહુ જ ડિફિકલ્ટ લાગ્યો બટ એટ ધ એન્ડ હાઉ વી હેવ કન્વર્ટેડ અ ડ્રીમ ઇન ટુ ધ ડેસ્ટિનેશન સો ઇફ વી અલાઉ ટુ એન્જિનિયર્સ ટુ સી અ ડ્રીમ વી આર ઓલવેઝ ટ્રાઈંગ ટુ અચીવ ધ ડ્રીમ અને આપણો ડ્રીમ છે ધેટ ઇઝ ટુ બી અ ગુડ એન્જિનિયર ટુ બી અ પ્રેક્ટિકલ એન્જિનિયર્સ નાઉ ઇફ યુ હેવ એની ક્વેશ્ચન રિગાર્ડિંગ ટુ ધિસ કન્ટેન્ટ યુ મે આસ્ક તમને આ કન્ટેન્ટ ની અંદરથી કોઈ પણ ક્વેશ્ચન તમારા ઈચ્છા હોય ઇફ યુ એની ક્વેશ્ચન યુ મે આસ્ક સો ધીસ ઇઝ અ થિંગ હાઉ વી કેન સે ધેટ ધીસ ઇઝ એન એન્જિનિયરિંગ માર્વેલ સ્ટ્રક્ચર ઇન નોર્મલ ડેઝ ઓન યોર નોર્મલ રૂટીન ડેઝ વી આર ગોઈંગ ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ વોટ ઇઝ મોમેન્ટ વોટ ઇઝ યોર ફોર્સ વોટ આર ધી લોડ્સ વોટ આર ધી મોમેન્ટ એન્ડ ઓલ ધ થિંગ્સ વી આર ગોઈંગ ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ બટ ઇન ધીસ સેશન ઇન ધીસ સીઝન વી આર ગોઈંગ ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ધીસ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ ટોપિક્સ which is not aware which is not aware by all the engineers 
it is quite quite untouched topic but this information direct loko jode is about the length and weight and all that thing but the technical thing is not with all the person and by using a dgps for the alignment we are going to finalize the map on the basis of a contour network ke je jagah upar mara minimum excavation ho jayega ha sir yes 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 sir atla heavy equipment kyu the lai jata ase je natm na curing mate na je bad equipment cha concreting karvana to lai kyu ta jata ase transport kida kar so very good question પાર્ટ the all the parts are foldable so we can transport it in a normal truck also so that was the main advantage by the natm method which is not possible with the tbm method which is not possible during the tbm equipments so this is the whole mechanism is the foldable mechanism now just look over this this is a fiber reinforced steel concrete this are the steel fibers which provides the reinforcement to the concrete this is all are the steel fibers whenever there is a cracking it will work it will beneficial for us look at that thing the whole failure section is connected with the fibers itself so this will be the benefit beneficial for us yes jammu kashmir mein apan je navi tunnel banaye che over the jammu northern jammu jammu sorry over the northern srinagar part why because shukam actually i was to ni jaru lagi amne loko ne uh when we have completed our bachelors during the 2009 there was only 800 seats in the civil engineering when we have passed when we have taken the admission there was only 800 seats in the year 2005 when we have completed our bachelors there was around 8000 seats in the civil engineering as of now it is more than 12000 it is more than 16000 i hope i think so to jitla pa engineers pehla na time ma je padta ene karta lagbhag 10 gana 15 gana engineers hove bahar pade ch and almost if i am considering that all the engineers are bound with their theoretical knowledge but not all the engineers are bound with the practical knowledge so i have initiated this series just to guide you the practical approaches not for the theoretical purposes not for the theoretical approaches so jare pan tumhe koi interview face karva jao sho tumhe jare pan koi pan jagah par work karva jao sho it will keep you in your mind that if there is a failure if there is a develop mind of a stress you are going to use a fiber reinforcement concrete and all the things if you are traveling through the tunnel you can discuss all this parameter with your colleagues and all the things so that is the main reason why we have initiated this brain trust running season so i hope ke none of one is ever miss any session because this all are the are the highly intensive session all are the full of the technical guidance and this all the things is free for you i'm not charging anything from your side that this is just from my satisfaction level uh, so those the students who have attended this class i will share a pdf to all of you uh, so here i am concluding today's session we will meet after the diwali after the 15 days but after the 15 days there is a uh, new year so we will we will meet over the next weekend after the diwali with a new and a different topic i will share you the link for a registration for next webinar for a next brainstorming session into your group or uh, do the students who have registered into your mail id kindly do check your mail after one week have a great day thank you for attending the session